Hello everyone, I'm Gary from the HC Tech product development team. Today, I would like to introduce our new NVIDIA computing products. Based on current market analysis and development progress in intelligent AI technology, we have developed high-performance industrial computers equipped with 10th or even 11th generation processor, which I will introduce you in some details. The amount of data is increasing rapidly. More and more devices can produce and transmit data. The fusion of emerging technologies like 5G, AI, and edge computing helps us to gain available data from the flood of information and will play a significant role in various critical areas such as manufacturing, transportation, and logistics, healthcare, public safety and security, and much more. This time, I am excited to introduce our new product, Bravo 7601, an edge AI computing system. Okay, when doing a product overview, I like to focus the following six aspects. First, the Bravo series roadmap. We will let you know how many products are already launched and on the way. Second, its key features of Bravo 7601. Obviously, it's the most important and the most interesting. Third, all the placement information that you can easily select a suitable model when communicating with our sales team. First, I will brief you on our thoughts regarding target market. And last, I will show you this product schedule. Let's begin. First, Bravo Series Roadmap. We have already virus of products on board now. From low power consumption Skylake U or KB Lake U to Skylake S or KB Lake S or Coffee Lake, Common Lake, our Bravo products including almost every processor on the market. Today, the leading role is Bravo 7601, equipped with Intel Common Lake 10th generation CPU family. And now we are going to develop mobile platform processor, Tiger Lake, later. So I think the Bravo series is very comprehensive and powerful. Here is Bravo series supported accelerator. It can support NVIDIA GeForce GTX 16 series, 20 series, 30 series, or NVIDIA Cordura professional series, also support NXN 10 or 16 series GPU such as NXN 1060, 1070, 1650, and so on. And support virus accelerate card such as the Intel FPGA or Capricorn AI accelerate card. Here are some key features of Bravo 737601. It's a high-performance HAI computing system equipped with Intel Common Lake 10th generation CPU family, Q470 chipset, aluminum chassis for heat dissipation and dual temperature control fan, 2DDR4, 2933 NHD SOD up to 64 GB, 3 2.5 G LAN and 4 G LAN with PoE function, 1 VGA, 2 HDMI, 3 independent display, GPU display support 2 DP, CPU and uh, NXM GPU dual processor, high performance. 
M2 support Wi-Fi, 4G, 5G, and NVMe storage, 1 mSATA and 2 2.5 inch SATA 3 bay for storage. DC 9 to 36 voltage wide power input that make this new Delight Bravo 7601H AI computer system suitable for CV2X spatial vehicle, intelligent security, high precision machine vision, and the medical imaging or other industries. In terms of CPU and AI acceleration performance, according to Intel and our data, the Comelec S platform can achieve an 18% improvement in multi-threading performance compared to uh, CoffeeLake R platform. And next, AI accelerate performance. Bravo 7601 supports the AI acceleration module of the NXM 3.1 bus. Adapting to the full range of NVIDIA Mobile RTX 30 GPU modules and also supports the Capricorn MLU220T NXM acceleration module. It can support the GeForce RTX 3080 mobile that has the highest performance, which contains 6144 CUDA cores, 192 texture units, GDDR6 8GB or 16GB media memory. Okay, next slide. Flexible expansion and uh, network. Look at the picture. There are two Intel i225B and one i225LM. Three 2.5G LAN support IAMT technology. Core i5 i7 CPU support Intel IV Pro technology. 1 M.2 type 2230 E key PCIe X1 USB 2.0 Wi Fi 6 and uh, Bluetooth 5.0 1 M.2 type 3052 B key PCIe X1 USB 2.0 and SIM slot support 5G module Compatible 4G LTE. 1 M.2 Type 228 M key. Support NVMe or PCIe expansion module such as CAN bus communication module. 1 MXM 3.0 PCIe X16 up to 190 power supply. Supports NXM GPU module and AI acceleration card with power contribution lower than 190. For PoE, LAN support I2180 or I211T chipset chip. Fifth, efficient heat dissipation design. The Bravo 7601 combines with two heat dissipation division. It is embedded with dual temperature control fans to realize the intelligent temperature control and cooling of the AI acceleration module. And the other heat dissipation design is a fanless cooling for CPU through dual copper heat pipers. The two heat dissipation comp components are coupled and designed in one st structure, which independently and uniformly undertakes the cooling task of the dual processor. Six, the modular structure design. It's very convenient assembly and easily maintains. 
such as CPU or GPU. Seventh, more storage options and larger storage capacity. Bravo 7601 has four disk storage. It includes a full-length M SATA disk, a M.2 type 220MK NVMe storage, which can be used as built-in system disk. Besides, there are two 2.5-inch SATA 3 bay for data storage, supporting RAID 0 or RAID 1 for data security. Each SATA 3 bay is able to equipped with 15 mm stick HDD. The maximum single bay capacity can reach 6 TB and can reach 12 DP TB with two bays. Is dual DC power supply design on motherboard. Want to supply power uh, 19 voltage for GPU module and want to supply power to the motherboard. For our clients, we divide these products into two models S001 and S002 model. The difference is that S002 has four PoE, but S001 has no PoE function. And next, it also has T001 and T002. The difference between T series and S series is temperature control fan. That you can see T series is the finest design, so T series can only support MXM220 AI acceleration card, but S series can support all kinds of GPU. I have already introduced these key features because of the Bravo 7601 has high performance advantages. It can be used in many fields, for example, V2X application combined with camera or lasers, AI machine vision, spatial vehicle, smart security, and so on. Okay, and last, uh, it's Bravo 7601 schedule. Now, it's on DVT phase. It will be in mass production phase in the first quarter of the next year. Another interesting product I would like to introduce is Kamana 3301, which is used for AGV or AMR application. And uh, uh, I also will introduce from the following five Aspects. Commanda roadmap. Key features of uh, Commanda 3301. Ordering information, target market, and uh, product schedule. So, let's start with Commanda family introduction. From the picture, we can see that we have so many Commanda series products. Different products with the virus CPU platform and functions, which provides plenty of choices for customers. Now we have J1900 Upload Lake, KB Lake U, KB Lake S, Whiskey Lake U, Coffee Lake S, and the Kamana 3301 is Tiger Lake U platform. Kamana 3301 is powered by Intel Tiger Lake U Core i3, i5, i7, or Benton Stereo processor. DDR4 SOD dual channel up to 64 GB. 3 GLAN with Intel i225B chip. 1 DP 
one HDMI, two USB 3.1. Max support 10 Gbps transportation speed. Two USB 2.0. Two com support RS232, 422, 485. One four mini PCIe support. Wi-Fi module 12052B key with SIM slot support 4G or 5G module 1228M key support NVMe for storage there's uh, also 14M SATA and 12.5 inch SATA bay DC9 to 36 voltage white power input with short circuit, over voltage and over current protection. Because of the Intel Tiger Lake U SOC CPU series, the CPU performance has been improved than before. Intel UHD graphical support Intel DL Boost deep learning technology. Intel Type F standard interface for high-speed I.O., flexible installation, and shock expulsion design. Very suitable for V2X MEC computing, AGV machine, vision, and other applications. First, CPU performance. It adopts Intel Tiger Lake U 11th generation SOC low power single chip processor. Core i3, i5, i7 are all four cores and eight threads, which is the platform with the highest UIT processor performance on the market. According to Intel data, the 11th generation Intel processor Tiger Lake U platform can achieve a 19% 19 improvement in multi-threading performance compared to the Whiskey Lake refresh platform. Next is uh, Tiger Lake U Core i3 Benton Serum with Intel UHD graphical. Core i5 i7 with Intel Iris XE graphicals support Intel deep learning technology up to 80 tops. Commander 3301 also support Intel TSN and TCC technology. So the real-time performance will be improved. The timing data within 10 microseconds. There are three Intel i225 LAN support AMT and vPro technology. M.2 3052 uh, with Steam slot support 4G and 5G module. M.2 2280M key support NVMe storage. 2DDR4 SO DIM support 3200MHD uh, up to 64GB. Uh, Commander 3301 motherboard EOM I912 and ECB267 board adopt Intel Type F design standard, which can improve shock resistance ability, obviously. It also supports various kind of I/O high-speed signal. The power supply and the communication I/O interface adopts anti-off design, and the mounting parts are equipped with rubber rails. Next slide is uh, flexible installation. Command 3301 support desktop mounting with uh, the rubble rails and the ding rail mounting optional. 
The installation mode is flexible, suitable for large size cabinet, stinger door open port chassis, and also support for wall mounting into the control cabinet of industrial equipment. This is a target market. You can see that it can be used such as a high-end HV or robot, V2X roadside MEC or in-vehicle MDC application, AI machine vision, and uh, smart security. Uh, it's a Kamana 3301 product schedule. From the picture, we can see that it's in DVT phase. It will be in mass production in the first quarter of the next year. Okay, uh, that's all for my theory. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, I'm Eva, a JHC Technology Product Manager. Today, I would like to introduce you an ATS Industrial Motherboard, ATS i971. Let's first start with the SBC family roadmap. Sorted by when Intel launched its platform, we currently have five products including Skylake, KB Lake, Whiskey Lake U, Coffee Lake S, and Comi Lake S. The 10th generation desktop platform CPU for the new i971, and i980 with the latest 12th generation Elder Lake platform CPU is also planning. In addition to configuring different process to meet current demand. Another feature of our SBC firmware is that it covers products of different sizes and all use standard mounting holes. Here I have made a comparison table of specification for your reference. It can be seen that each product is equipped with a variety of expansion slot according to product positioning. The new 971 is equipped with H420E chipset and supports dual Trenial 2933 memory up to 64 GB. The power supply is standard ATS. Now let's look at the Draw line interface. Here is a full view of this product's I.O. port. First of all, there are two serial ports on the far left, and there are four RS232 headers on the board. As for display, the i971 has a VGA port and a HDMI port supporting dual independent display. And the two LAN ports are respectively equipped with Intel i219 and i225 network chips. So the second LAN port supports 2.9 GB bandwidth transmission. Below the LAN ports are four USB 3.0 ports. And on the right, are four USB 2.0 ports, all of which support dual power supply mode. The other two audio ports are optional. Next, I would like to introduce you the highlights we have in the design of the new product. In addition to the USB dual power supply mentioned just now, there are some unique features in the expansion slot, position, signal, product size, and processors. First of all, we just mentioned that i971 is equipped with Intel 10th generation desktop processors Comilex with LGA1200. You can configure different CPU performance levels from Celeron, 
Pentium Core i3, i5, i7 to Core i9 without any limitation on power consumption, which is the biggest difference between the i971 and the 761, which also runs Comin Lake. According to this CPU support lead, i971 can support i910900K with 125W TDP power consumption, 10 cores and 20 threads up to the maximum. Of course, in addition to the core, i971 also supports Pentium and several CPU. So, how does this product support the CPU of TDP 125W power consumption? In fact, it lies in the PWM control chips and this plus 2 plus 2 phase larger power supply scheme that we are equipped with. The CPU is assigned a 6 phase power supply to meet power consumption requirement to support its high performance feature. The second point is the universality of the title. I971 adopts the most rigorous ATS standard. Respectively, 305 by 244 mm in length and width. All the holes are designed according to the standard ATS motherboard specification, can be adapted to all four U cabinet and watch multi cabinet on the market. With seven expansion slots to adopt the various application scenarios. Next, let's look at the location of the expansion slots. We change the position of one of the three PCI expansion slots near the motherboard edge to the second slot close to the CPU. The advantage of this is that even if the product is installed in a thin 1U or 2U case, the Razer card can easily be used to expand the PCI and PCIe by shifting slots. In addition, we have also made some unique design for the PCIe by four slots. By default, the three PCIe slots are by one signal. But via bow settings, we can change three by one signal slots into one by four signal slot to meet the needs of users to install different expansion cards. Then let's look at the eight USB ports on the shoreline. Sometimes we might want to wake up the PC in hibernation mode with a keyboard or mouse, or power external device through the USB port. Considering this part of user needs, our USB interface can switch dual power supply mode. In system mode, the USB 3.0 port can supply up to 900 mA, and the USB 2.0 port can supply up to 500 mA. At present, there is S001 model selection for the order specification of i971. The specification are listed in the table. You can pay attention to it. The first chapter is to share with you the future market forecast we made for this model board, including machine vision, numerical control, distributed control system, and discrete manufacturing. As a general purpose industrial motherboard, based on its high processing and computing power, plus strong scalability, 
I971's application scope will not be limited to a certain fit. Among this, based on its various features, we are most optimistic about the field of machine vision. Take the application case of Micro ATS motherboard I961 that we have shipped in the solar industry as an example. This is the system architecture diagram of this application in the detection of cell defects. I971 is also suitable for such cases. According to the data from a research company in China, thanks to the enterprise domestic demand, national policy promotion, and industry standard, it is as time match that market size of machine vision in China will reach 24.6 billion yuan in 2025. Referring to niche industries, machine vision has been applied to all worlds of our life. For example, in the 3C electronic industry, enterprises are increasingly use machine vision to replace artificial vision in the assembly process and quality inspection process. In recent years, the intelligent sorting link of logistic industry and solar industry, the demand for machine vision is getting higher and higher. It is also suitable for lifting battery industry, food and medical industry, as well as image recognition of security inspection machine. If you wish to have more information about this product or receive samples, please contact our sales team for further support. Thank you and have a good day.